Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your hyper overview of the most recent update to Kerbal Space Program, version point 24. The overall focus of this upcoming update is Contracts, a core mechanic of the career mode in which you'll take on and attempt to complete specific missions in return for science, funds, and reputation. Upon loading a saved game and entering the Space Center, the Mission Control building is now clickable. Doing so will take you to a list of available contracts which you have the option of either accepting or declining. Should you accept a certain contract, it'll appear in the new section of the user interface within the game. Whilst in flight, this new section will provide you with the requirements for each contract currently active. For instance, you may be asked to test a parachute at an altitude of around 5 kilometers whilst traveling over 200 meters per second, or something to that effect. Once all the requirements are met, it's mission success. Testing apart, however, is merely one of many different kinds of contracts in the update, which vary from rescuing kerbals stranded in the far reaches of the solar system, to collecting science off of certain celestial bodies, all the way to doing a grand tour and visiting several different planets in one flight. The science points gained from contracts are used for research and development, just like in previous versions of the game, but funds are a new form of currency. Whilst in a construction facility, a counter in the bottom left of the screen keeps track of the funds required to launch this particular vessel, increasing as parts are added and decreasing as they are taken away, in accordance with the value of each part as found in its description. Below that, another counter tells you how many funds you have in total, and should the required funds exceed this amount, you will be rendered unable to launch. And reputation is the final currency provided by completing contracts. Killing Kerbals and failing missions will lower your reputation, whilst doing the opposite will raise it. And that's pretty much the main points covered. To finish off, here are some smaller changes to the game. Number 1, the Kerbin day has been shortened from 6 hours and 51 seconds to a neater 6 hours, losing us a whole 51 seconds. That's nearly a minute. Number 2, there's a button in the construction facilities that lets you reset staging to how it is by default. Not sure if this is new to point 24, but I've never noticed it before, so hey, I thought I might as well mention it. Number 3, difficulty levels on contracts are trivial, significant, and exceptional, as opposed to easy, medium, and hard. The major consensus within the Kerbal Space Center is that this improves gameplay significantly. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video then please do like the video, and I shall see you all next time.